Okay, let's start with some weekly, weekly practice problems. Let's work this problem out. Then we'll go over the answer. And then we'll do the next problem. And we'll do five problems a day to help keep the math doctor away. You can pause it, work it out, and then we will go ahead and work this problem together. Okay, so let's see what your final answer should have been. We had to add three tens, three hundreds, five tens, and eight ones. Then I needed to take away five tens and three ones. Then I needed to add six hundred, five tens, and two. So remember, six hundred, you have to move both of these beads, the five hundred and the one hundred, because five and one make a sandwich. Six hundred, five tens, and two ones. Then we're going to take away this, take away six hundred and five. So I'll take away six hundred and I'll take away five ones. So your final answer should have been three hundred, five tens, and two. Check. If you didn't get it correct, that's okay. Just erase the answer and go back, check again, and see what you need to do. Okay, here's your next problem. So one strategy is to scan your problem, hundreds, 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 tens, so you know which row you're going to be working with. So the first three rows, I'm working with the hundreds, the tens, and the ones, hundreds, tens, and ones, hundreds, tens, and ones. And this last calculation, I'm only in on my tens rod. So let's do that together. Okay. Pause if you need to, work the problem out. So I'm going to add nine hundredths, two tens, and seven. Then I'm going to take away six hundred, one ten, and five. And then I'm going to subtract again one hundred, one ten, and one. Then I'm going to add four tens. Is that your answer? Did you get two hundredths, four tens, and one? If you did, check. Good job, pat yourself on the back. If not, that's okay. Just go back and see what step you skipped. Now I wanna make sure when you are subtracting and adding the six, you're moving two beads. Cause sometimes you already have one bead and you have to add six and sometimes you, you just put the five down to make six, but you forget that in order to add six, you need to move two beads, the two sandwiches. Okay, let's get to the next problem. Okay, here's your next problem now. I'm just scanning my problem. You don't have to rush into it. You have to scan it. So, okay, I only have hundreds. I'm only doing something on the hundreds rods here, the hundreds rods here. Okay, then down here, I'm doing things on the tens rod and nothing on the ones rod until I get to this bottom. So let's work that problem out. Pause, work it out if you need to. Okay, so I need to add 400. I need to add 300. Uh-oh, this is a switcheroo problem because I don't have any more. I can't. I have to add my switcheroo. So 400 plus 300, let's do it. 100, 200, 300. Bam, get my seven. Now I'm at my tens rod. I add my four tens. Bam, add my four tens. Okay, now I add up oh, four tens again. That's a switcheroo problem. Let me work that out. One, two, three, four. Okay, then I have to take away eight tens, All right? Boom. And then I have to add one. Boom. What's my answer? My answer is seven hundredths, zero tens, and one. If you got that correct, check. Very good job. If not, just go back. Use those big, beautiful eyes and check your work. Okay, this is not challenge week. This is weekly practice, but we let's go and I want you to work this problem out. Just do step by step by step. So you're going to do this step. Then you're going to do this step. You're going to do these two together. Then you're going to do these two together. And you're going to do these two together because they're on the same rod. So we'll just make it easier. Pause, work that problem out. And then we'll come together and work the problem. Okay. Ooh, this is really easy. Trust me. It's easy. It's just long, but it's fun. All right. So I look at my numbers. I see that these are on the one rod. So I'll add my five. Boop. I add my two. Boop. <gasps> Take away seven. Boop. Boop. What? Back to zero. Now I add my four. What? Four hundreds. I move this rod. I add my five hundreds. And then... <gasps> I recognize these two numbers because these are friends of five. So I know that as soon as I see friends of five and it's on the ones rod, I add my five. So is, oops, is your final answer nine hundred, zero tens, 
and one. If so, it's correct. Good job, smiley face. And if you didn't get it, that's okay. Just go back and see what step you probably missed or what you need to correct. Ooh, we have another fun one, and this is our last one for this practice. Ooh, let me scan my problem. All right, so don't let this zero trick you when you work this out because this zero is in front of the three. It's not 30, it's three ones. So don't get tricked by that. Don't get tricked by that zero. Make sure you're looking at your problems very closely before you work it out. Go ahead, press pause, and then let's come back and do it together. Okay, time for the fun stuff. We are gonna work out this problem together. All right, so I'm gonna clear my junior counter. I'm gonna do the first, this is three plus three, so I position to three, and then I add, I count up three, I count up by three. One, two, three, good, I got my six. Now I move to the tens rod because this is 40 plus 30. So I'm going to do four tens. I have, it's a switcheroo problem, so I have to count up by three. One, two, three. Make sure my beads are touching. Okay, 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 doing okay. Now I'm moving to the hundreds rods and up. It's another switcheroo problem because I positioned to four and I have to count up by three. So one, two, three. Did you get the final answer of, right, let's keep this here, seven hundreds, seven tens, and six ones. If you did, check, you should be proud. And if not, that's okay. Just go back and see what steps you messed up on and correct.